Hello, I am Sarkoon. This is World of Warships Legends. On the screen here, you see my build for the level 11, Robert Chauchard. He is the commander that I will be using on the tier 6 French battleship Lyon. It is a ship I have not featured in some time, but I took it out for the Grosse Kerfurst Bureau mission and had a pretty good game in it. We're going to be on Northern Waters for this particular match. It is a domination mode game, and in this match, we're going to enjoy the benefits of randoms engaging in the art of supportive teamwork. And that's a rare enough thing in World of Warships Legends these days. So it's always nice to point it out when it happens and give the players who engage in it some well-deserved praise. And my praise today for this battle will be reserved for the friendly Yudachi, who, if you look at the minimap, I believe is sailing right in front of me, making his way toward the Charlie Cap with, I suppose, the intent to secure it for our team, as is the job of a stealthy destroyer like a Yudachi. Remember, the job of a destroyer in domination mode, very first priority, take the caps. Don't go after battleships. Speaking of battleships, we have a broadside vanguard out there, 16 kilometers out, Gonna take aim at him with our 16 guns. And that shot looks like it's on target. Maybe, in fact, I can aim. Who knows? But we do hit a citadel. And the vanguard loses 12,000 hit points. So, you know, there you go. Now, the Leon, of course... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Here is the friendly Udachi. I've been spotted by the enemy destroyer that is currently in Charlie. The Udachi lays a smoke screen, which renders me invisible to that destroyer, and that is a helpful thing. Initially, I was going to sail behind this island to use it as cover, but I thought, as I was making my way toward the island, that I maybe ought to slow down and assist this Udachi and the other destroyer by supporting them as they go for this Charlie Cap. So I do take a shot at the enemy lightning that appears, which is probably a pretty dangerous ship for the two Yudachis to be facing. But even worse than that, an HE spamming menace has briefly popped up. The USS Atlanta. So now it is certainly time to reverse and not go behind this island for cover. If I can take out the Atlanta, then the two Yudachis and the friendly cruiser ought to have an easy time finishing off the lightning, unless I kill him first. No, two full penetrations though on him, so he is basically on no health. He's not going to be around for much longer. Those two Yudachis, as soon as they spot him, will be able to take him out. Now that just leaves the Atlanta very dangerous to the two Yudachis with his 16, 14-gun broadside and, of course, radar. So I'm reversing out. I'm spotted. There's the Atlanta. Lose spot temporarily, but he pops back up. The shot is out. And... He gone! Sorry. Three citadels. One kill. First blood. Minus one Atlanta. And now, the two Udachis they are able to take the Charlie Cap with impunity, almost. As long as they can kill that lightning, which seems like a likely possibility. That means it's time for me to move out and go try to support my teammates on the other side of the map who are busy trying to flip Alpha. That Vanguard out there, first target we hit with the Citadel is, you know, looking like he might be a juicy target once more. So, we're gonna move up, and, you know, we're gonna see what we can do. Got all the guns on target. Vanguard isn't quite giving us a nice flat broadside angle, 
But the shells, eh, he, of course he kicks it into full gear as soon as I shoot, so we only hit him with two shells. Could have been a bit more of a nasty salvo had he not decided to go forward at such an inopportune moment for me. Anyway, before we got into the entanglement with the Atlanta, there was something about the Leon that I did want to say. Now, this ship does have the smallest caliber guns of any Tech Tree battleship at Tier 6. King George V comes in second place in terms of smallest guns. It's got 356 millimeter guns. Leon, 340. So, I think that gives a lot of people the impression that these guns are not effective. At least the AP isn't effective against, you know, battleships. Which is why I see so many Leons trying to join the, you know, society of HE spamming menaces. And don't get me wrong, the HE in the Leon is fine. You know, it's pretty good, actually. Especially if you want to use it to shoot at German battleships. It is quite effective against them. 16 shells with, you know, outrageous fire chance. You get enough of those on target, you're going to do a significant amount of just HE penetration damage. Not to mention the fire starting damage. Took that turn perhaps a little bit too soon there, and I do pay for it with a nasty shot from one of those battleships. Not sure what it was, but now it's time to assume a kiting position and try to do what I can to dodge the golden shower being produced by that Kutuzov out there who has now smoked up and become invisible to me. Thought about trying to blind fire him in the smoke, but that's difficult even when you're only five kilometers away from smoke, much less, I don't know, 11 or 12 kilometers. So instead, take a shot at the Vanguard. The dispersion is horrible. Three of the shells ricochet, but the front guns were sent his way too, and they actually hit him for an incapacitation, temporarily removing one of his turrets from play. So, you know, that's all right. But right now, I'm just trying to kind of get away from the HE spamming menace. I'm gonna take another shot at the Vanguard as I go. He's giving more of a broadside angle, so this salvo, you know, it nearly kills him. Nearly. He's got just enough health to still be considered living. But he's gonna be an easy target for somebody to finish off. I thank the friendly Udachi for laying down another smoke screen, which again renders me invisible and removes me from the enemy Kutuzov's screen so that I am no longer subject to his reign of terrible HE spam. Again, I tell you, the HE spamming menace is, in my opinion, the biggest threat to uh, battleships in this current meta. I mean, destroyers are still, of course, a huge threat, but the HE spamming menace, particularly these Russians with their rail guns that can hide behind islands or smoke screens and shoot at you with impunity like that, and they don't have a hard time hitting you at all, even if you are maneuvering. If they're good at aiming, they're still going to get you. And, of course, the Kuznetsov skill that increases their HE shell penetration values means that every time they do hit you, they are going to shave away your hit points, and that adds up significantly over time. So, two best ways to deal with the HE Spamming Menace. Number one, kill them. Number two, try to either get away from them, put cover between yourself and them, or dodge their salvos. If they're not spectacularly good at aiming, then even, even a little bit of movement to port or starboard, you know, a little bit of zigzagging, has the potential to throw off their aim and mitigate the damage that you take. And then, you know, when you get a shot on them, you should take it and try to kill them. Nearly again take out the enemy hipper over there, but again we leave him with just enough health to be considered still living. The friendly Kutuzov gets the kill. 
And now we are moving in toward the enemy Jean Bart and also the enemy Kutuzov, who has basically at this point become my arch nemesis. He's lit me on fire a number of times, and I do not appreciate it. Anyway, we're going to take a shot at the Jean Bart. We do hit him for a little bit of AP penetration damage, but three of the shells ricochet. Looks like he was a little bit more angled than he appeared on screen, and you can tell that with reference to the mini-map. That's something I need to get a little bit better at looking at when I'm trying to aim some shots. Sometimes the ships look like they're pretty broadside on the screen to you, but they're really not. And you can tell by looking at how they're angled versus you on the minimap. Anyway, we are moving into a situation where our demise is probably a pretty good possibility. But we do have a fantastic position set up for a double strike if we can pull it off. All we need to do is kill this Kutuzov. Eh, not quite. We do get a Citadel, but it's too late. Jean Bart rammed. Second kill of the game, 143,000 damage done now. We've got a number of medals, including Devastating Strike, a High Caliber, uh, and I think Confederate. So, not a bad game at all in the Lyon. The team has secured three of the four capture points. We don't look like we're in any danger of losing this. There's only that enemy Poltava left and a single enemy destroyer whose location is unknown. So as long as my team doesn't mess up catastrophically, then we've secured the win and I don't feel too bad about engaging in that ramming maneuver. Besides, the Kutuzov died after I took that Citadel off of him, and everything is just brilliant. So, we're gonna skip to the end here now, and give that friendly Udachi who supported me with those smoke screens another little shout-out, and show you how he... he is eventually the one that takes down the enemy Poltava. So, here he is. Our helpful little Yudachi lining up for a torpedo strike on the enemy Poltava. And if he kills him, that's probably going to be enough to put us over a thousand points and win the match. So the Yudachi's lining up. The shot is out, or at least one is. And then he holds on to the second for a brief moment before releasing it. Look at those torpedoes go, making their way toward the unsuspecting enemy battleship, who probably suspects now, given that the Udachi is firing at him. Looks like he's going to take one torpedo from the first spread, and then a single torpedo from the second, which is enough to take him out, and finish the game with our victory. Got a nice place on the leaderboard with 3k base XP. Pretty good game. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Almost at a thousand. All right, thanks. See you next time. Goodbye.